Hello I am Art Invader and welcome to my tutorial. Maybe you already know me. I am a digital artist from Berlin, Germany. I regularly post my art and short tutorials on my social media channels. Feel free to check them out. You can find the link in the caption. I want to turn my passion into a profession. Therefore it would be nice if you support me on Patreon. There you will find the project files to my YouTube tutorials. For a small financial surcharge, you also get access to my 3D models, which I use in my art. Thank you for your help. Today I will show you how to create this cool cover art animation, in the first part of the video, I will explain how to create the animation with Blender, in the bonus part of the video, I will explain how I edit my animations with Adobe After Effects, let's get started Arties, opens Blender and deletes with X button camera, cube and we keep the light. Then go to the top bar add, mesh and select UV sphere. Go to the mod for your properties and add suit vision surface. At levels viewport and renderer enter 4. Then select displace mod fear. Under texture properties you create a new texture. Select stucky under type, noise basis original Perlin and size 0.35. Now we come to the animation, first we shorten the animation to 5 seconds. 1 second has 30 frames, that means 5 seconds have 150 frames. Then we set the animation to frame 0. To animate the sphere we have to work with the turbulence value. Set a keyframe at the beginning of the animation. Then move the slider to the end of the animation. Now select 150 for turbulence and set another keyframe. As you can see, at first you see a smooth sphere, which liquefies later on. To create the animation we have to go back to the modifier properties and work with the strength value. Set the slider back to frame 0, enter 0 for strength and set a keyframe. Move the slider to the end of the animation and enter 1 for strength and set another keyframe. Now we come to the materials. First we split the view in two, for this you go to the side until A plus appears and drag the window to the side. After that we go to the shader editor. Then we change the viewport shading in the upper right corner, 4. Create a new material. Set metallic to 1 and roughness to 0.2. Then switch to the world mode. Search for environment texture and insert a picture of your choice. You will find the link to the graphic in the caption. To get a stronger color change in the sphere, I also animate environment texture, for this we search for mapping and geometry. We set a keyframe at the beginning of the animation at rotation Z. Then we move the slider to the end of the animation and enter 360 degrees and set another keyframe. Then press the right mouse button on the sphere and select Shade Smooth. Blender always automatically creates a Belzear curve animation, that is, it is slow at the beginning, faster in the middle and slow again at the end. But we want the animation to run in the same speed all the time, for this we go to the bottom corner to Graph Editor. For this we select points of both curves, press Command plus A to select all of them. Then we go to Key, Interpolation Point and select Linear. Select Back to Timeline and as you can see the animation now runs continuously at the same speed. Now we come to the Render Settings. Select Camera, press on the Camera icon and select a format of your choice at Output Properties. Then select a suitable section. I will edit my animation with Adobe After Effects, so I render it with a transparent background, go to the render properties, then film and check the box transparent. That's it, the animation is ready to render, press command plus F12, to get the file later with a transparent background we have to save it as PNG file. In the next part of the video I will show you how I edit the animation with Adobe After Effects.
Double click on the PNG sequence and paste it into Adobe After Effects. Then search for the effect hue slash saturation. There you select the value 30 under Master Saturation. After that we search for the effect Edge Glow. At Edge Detect you select 150. Now on the sky background, you can find the link in the caption. As you can see, the colors don't fit. Search here again for hue slash saturation. With a wheel you can change the colors. 345 degrees should fit. Additionally I increase the saturation by 10%. Then duplicate the layer and set the blending mode to multiply. Press the T key and set the opacity to 30%. Now the white tones of the background do not match the animation yet. Now we search for the effect selective color and select the color white. We increase the yellow value for the white color by 100% and darken it a bit by setting black to 40%. Now I work with overlays. First I put a star animation behind the animation and set the blending mode to screen, now I choose a smoke animation. I set it to the top and select the blending mode lighten. The smoke is too white, so we search for the effect tint. There we choose for white a light tone from the background. Press the T key and set the opacity to 50%. Now we make a prefect loop out of the animation. For this we press in the play in window command plus A and then we click with the right mouse button and select pre-compose. Then we press the right mouse button in the preview window and select composition settings. There we increase the animation duration. Then we duplicate our composition. There we press with the right mouse button on it, go to time and select time reverse layer. Now the composition runs backwards and can be moved to the end of the animation. The animation is ready. Now you can add some more overlays, like me some stickers and a destroy CD cover overlay. You can find the whole project file on Patreon, you find the link in the caption. Well done Arties, thanks for the positive feedback. From 10,000 followers I will get a camera and a mic, at the moment I don't earn any money with all this yet, therefore I am happy about every support with all this yet. To make sure you don't miss a new tutorial from me, please subscribe to the channel. I try to upload 1-2 to two tutorials per week. See you in the next tutorial.